Welcome. This is what is happening on the sun today, the 28th of September 2011. I just finished a video today saying why region 1302 was decaying and unlikely to give us any major flares when I happened to notice that it had just given us a C9.6 flare followed by an M1.2 flare. So I've had to revise the whole thing. Oh well. Our trivia question today is, in 2008 there was the first successful private launch of a spacecraft. Can anybody tell me what the name of that spacecraft was? The answer will be given at the end. Since yesterday we've had at least 10 C flares and in the last few minutes an M flare. Now it actually doesn't look like an M flare on here because it's so impulsive but if you expand it from the 5 minutes cadence that I've shown here to the 1 minute cadence then you can see that it just peaks above the M level. We have 5 officially numbered regions on the disk at the moment and one unnumbered region just coming over the northeast limb again. So let's start with region 1301 in the northwest. Neither region 1301 nor region 1304 have produced any flares in the last 24 hours. In fact they both look as though they've decayed somewhat, with the possible exception of a small region in the northeast of region 1301, which in fact may be a separate region. Next we'll turn our attention to region 1302, which is nearing disk centre has produced three C flares and an M flare in the last 24 hours. I'm not sure whether this region has grown or decayed. Some parts of it certainly seem to have decayed, like in the central portion of the region. However, there is new spots emerging to the south of the main spot. Next we'll take a look at regions 1305 and 1306 near the northeast limb. These are two relatively simple single spot regions that don't seem to have changed much in the last 24 hours. However, there is a new region coming over the northeast limb but it looks very similar to these two and so is a relatively weak region that will not give us very much activity. So until a few minutes ago the sun was relatively quiet for the last day, however it now seems to be picking up in activity with these impulsive flares which are a sign of growth. In the sunspot and magnetic movies from the HMI instrument on the Solar Dynamics Observatory, I'd like you to try to follow the evolution of region 1302 and see what the trends are over these 48 hour period. Is the trend for growth or decay or stability? Similarly, let's take a look at the region 1232 in first the uh, transition region at about 60,000 degrees and then the low temperature corona at about 600,000 degrees and see how it's changing. In the high temperature coronal image from the SXI instrument on GOES, we can see that we have new regions coming over both the northeast and the southeast limb. Plus also note that loop that I was so interested in a couple of days ago has brightened significantly. I wonder if that's going to be a source of new growth. From the SOHO coronagraph data, we can see that there are still coronal mass ejections occurring. However, they give the impression of being much slower and less impulsive than the ones that we saw just a few days ago, which were associated with the X flares. The solar wind data is telling an interesting story. The temperature stabilized at about 500,000 degrees, while as predicted the um, velocity of the solar wind has been steadily dropping. However, the interesting part is the density of the solar wind, which is very low. Often behind a coronal mass ejection, you'll get a low density uh, area, as the coronal mass ejection itself has swept up a lot of the material in the solar wind. And I think that's what we're seeing here. The high energy electron flux is bouncing around all over the place again and we're still in the decay phase of that proton event. The NOAA 15 data show us that the auroral zone is quite agitated at the moment and we've had some spectacular aurora seen from Scandinavia. The KP index has come down from its storm values of yesterday and is varying between unsettled and quiet. And at the moment NOAA is carrying no alerts for geomagnetic storms, radiation storms or radio blackouts. So in summary then, the X-ray background is at the B4 level, the sunspot number has dropped to 82, radio sun intensity is at 139 solar flux units, solar wind speed has dropped to 430 km per second with a density of much less than 1 proton per cubic centimetre, and geospace conditions remain unsettled. My forecast for the next 24 hours is that C flares are likely, M flares are possible, but X flares are increasingly unlikely, the sunspot number will remain low, Coronal mass ejections remain likely, solar wind speed will go lower, and a geomagnetic storm is still possible. From the composite coronal image you can see that there's a weak region due over the northeast limb tomorrow, and the day after that there should be a much stronger region coming over the southeast limb. The answer to the trivia question is that 
the private spacecraft that was launched was called Falcon 1. It was launched by the SpaceX Corporation. So that's it for today. Keep safe. Bye for now. <laughs>